Shivani Shiva Minasan. Namaskar and a very warm welcome to all present here today in the second series of lectures on Japanese language and culture. So, in our previous lesson, we studied particle ni. We learned how to use particle ni with time. We also did particle o and honorific o. So, there is a big difference between the two as you already know now. Particle o is used to show the object in this sentence and the honorific O is used to show politeness, to show respect, though the sound, the pronunciation is the same. Syllable is different. Now we did ni as you know, we are going to continue with ni, see how ni is used in various ways uh, in the language. Today we will do with two different uh, verbs, you will see how ni is used over there and then also we will do with animate and inanimate, how to show existence of people and of objects using ni. Basically, we will see prepositions today, we will learn prepositions. So, let us see what we have in our lecture. Now, how do you use prepositions in Japanese? For example, something is on top of another thing or is behind something or someone or is in front or alongside something. So, how are we going to say these things in Japanese? Let us see. So, from the picture, you can see very clearly there is a kaban, there is a bag over here and there are two people. So, the question is kaban wa doko desu ka? And the answer would be, which is given over here, is kaban wa koko desu. A-san is saying that kaban wa koko desu because it is close to A-san. Now, B-san could easily say kaban wa soko desu because it is far away from him. Now, there is another way of saying the same thing, kaban wa koko ni arimasu. Why do we use this verb arimasu? Because this is not a complete verb, it is made with the help of de particle and the su part of the mas form. So, it cannot perform all the activities a verb is supposed to perform, all the conjugations cannot be done. So, we need a proper verb over here and this verb shows the existence of inanimate objects. That is where a certain thing is present. It is there, the existence of the bag is shown by arimas and where is the bag is shown by particle ni, a very, very different usage of particle ni, you have not done this so far, you have only used it with time. So, koko ni, basically something wa place ni. Ari mas. It exists at this place. This is what we did last time. Now, today, as I told you, we are going to do postpositions, that is, prepositions in English. So, what are those postpositions in Japanese? Well, kaban wa mai ni arimasu. If I remove this Watashi no from here we can say kaban wa mai ni arimasu. It is in front. We are not mentioning what it is in front of, but we are saying kaban wa mai ni arimasu. From context you can understand what is being said. If you add watashi no, then it is very clear I am here and the kaban is in front of me like. So, kaban wa watashi no mai ni arimasu, mai means front. Instead of kaban, you can have any other noun over here. Instead of watashi, you can again have otosan, okasan, no mai ni arimasu. Now, look at this picture over here. Tanaka-san, we can call him Tanaka-san. 
he is pointing at this ball. So, what is he saying? Ball wa watashi no mai ni arimasu. It is in front of him, right in front of him. So, ball wa watashi no mai ni arimasu. Or he can also say ball wa, this is the table. So, well, skue no ue ni arimasu. Skue no ue ni arimasu. It is present on top of the table. So, over here also you can replace my with ue. So, kaban wa watashi no ue ni arimasu. Sounds very funny but this is just for practice. So, we can replace my over here with other prepositions. Ue means up or ahead or top. Okay. So, now what are the normal prepositions that we do in English. So, ue which is up, shita which is down or under or below or naka which is inside or soto which is outside or mai which is front or ahead, ushiro, which is behind, back, etc. So, ue, shita, naka, soto, mai, ushiro. Some very simple postpositions that we are going to take up here. Also, you can use yoko, which is alongside something. For example, you have a wall. Something is parked over here. The cycle is parked alongside the wall. So, yoko ni arimasu. So, we will see and uh, revise over here. So, Tanaka san wa asoko ni imasu. He is pointing and Tanaka san is far away from both of them. We can see very clearly from this word asoko, which means over. There. Now, if Tanaka san was somewhere here, say, then soko ni imasu, or if he was a little more closer, he could have said koko ni imasu, or Tanaka san himself could have said watashi wa koko desu, I am over here. Now, instead of Tanaka, you can replace this noun over here with bucho which is the head of the department any section of the office then sensei you already know chichi and imoto is younger sister so someone or something wa place ni imasu or arimasu you can replace this place over here with jimushitsu, which is the office, working office. Then erebeta no mai, you understand, gakko is school and uchi is house. So, bucho wa jimushitsu ni imasu. Sensei wa erebeta no mai ni imasu. Imoto wa uchi ni imasu. Chichi wa gakko ni imasu. Neko wa kuruma no kuruma no futa ni imasu. Bucho wa kaisha ni imasu. You can also put hon over here. It is an inanimate, non living thing. So, hon wa skue no ue ni arimasu. Please remember arimasu and imasu. Very important and ni to show location of the object or person, where the person is. So, the place is given and place, place ni. Now, you can very well see over here, bucho is here. So, bucho wa kaisha ni or jimushitsu ni imasu. If this is Hanachan, then Hanachan wa bucho no hidari. Hidari is another 
locational word. So, hidari ni imas. Hana chan wa bucho no hidari ni imas. Tanaka san wa san wa bucho no ushiro ni imas. So, you can have these words, these prepositions used and show location of someone or something with reference to something else. I hope it's clear now. Now, we have used me in a lot of ways. We will show with the help of me a certain activity at a certain time. For example, watashi wa mainichi hachijin ni okimas. So, this activity is being performed at this time, exactly at this time, thus particle ni. Mainichi is time expression, means daily. And watashi wa mainichi every day, hachiji ni okimas. It's a statement. Of course, this says rokuji, but well, we have used hachiji over here. So, hachiji ni okimas. I get up. So, performing a certain activity at a certain time, exactly at that time, then particle ni is going to be used. And also we did earlier that after time, particle ni is used. Hachiji ni kaisha e ikimas. Now, another one is here for you. Watashi wa mainichi rokuji ni tabemas. Exactly at this time, tabemas. Not more, not less. Maximum, plus and minus, 2 minutes or 5 minutes maximum, but not beyond. You don't uh, say rokuji ni tabemas and you mean rokuji jugoho ni tabemas. No, that is wrong. If you say rokuji ni tabemas means dai tai, 2, 3, 4 minutes here and there, but rokuji less. Watashi wa ashita shichiji ni kaerimasu. So, ashita is another time expression, means tomorrow, you already know, mainichi ashita. And you will see that with ashita, with time expressions, over here also, particle ni is not being used. Particle ni is being used with exact time, with number and time. There are a lot of time expressions you have done and lot of time expressions which will not take particle ni. Particle ni is not required. Why it is not required? Ni particle is used for exact time and ashita is a time span, duration. So, this does not work over here now. That is why ashita will not take particle ni. Mainichi will not take particle ni. And I will give you a lot of words here which will not take particle ni. You will see yourself. Let us do this exercise also over here. Watashi wa kino ju ichiji ni nemashita. Exact time ni nemashita. But kino? Kino ni ju ichiji ni nemashita? No. Ju ichiji ni nemashita, exact time ni nemashita. And this time the watch also tells you 11 o'clock. Let us see what is happening over here. So, watashi wa ototoi okasa ni denwa o shimashita. Watashi wa ototoi ni? No. Watashi wa ototoi because ototoi is time span, duration. It is a time expression. It is not exact time. So, watashi wa ototoi okasa ni denwa o shimashita. Now, this over here, this usage of ni is very different, which I am going to do later. At the moment, please concentrate on watashi wa ototoi denwa o shimashita. So, what you have done earlier with o is direct relationship with the verb, noun o verb. The verb is acting on the noun. What do you do with the denwa? You ring up somebody. So, denwa o shimashita. Now, who did you 
ring up. It was your occasion. So here the subject object, subject va, object o, verb is very very clear. Now we have another indirect object over here. So what do we do? We cannot have two o's in a sentence. We have done this earlier. O particle as you know marks the object in the sentence. So something else has to be done and that is me. And what is it equal to in English? It is equal to to of English. Watashi wa ototoi okasan ni denwa o shimashita. In a very, very different way, you could say, I called to my okasan. Or you can say, Watashi wa ototoi okasan ni tegami o kaki mashita. So over here, the usage of to will be very clear. I wrote a letter to my mother. So this is equivalent to the to in English. I am going to take it up later as well. Watashi wa ototoi denwa o shimashita. Please concentrate on this at the moment because we are doing time expressions and time expressions will not take particle ni. Not all but some of them. So now what are the time expressions which do not require particle ni? Asa is morning as you know, kesa is this morning, konya is this evening and ima is now. You have done this kanji character also in your previous lesson which is ima that inside the house you are sitting and singing now. So this here on top is the hito radical. We just change it a little and make it like this showing that this is a house. So hito is in the house and singing and konya this evening and kesa this morning. Of course you have ashita tomorrow, kino yesterday, kyo today and ototoi day before yesterday. So all these will not take particle ni. Also have Rainen next year, Kotoshi this year and Kyonen last year. And Raigetsu next month, Kongetsu this month and Sengetsu last month. These time expressions will not take particle ni. Because it is not exact time, it is a time span, time duration. Now time expressions where ni is optional. So haru, haru ni, natsu ni, aki ni, fuyu ni. You may add ni, you may not add ni depending on your sentence construction. Also if you add ni, there is more stress on what you are saying. You are trying to emphasize what you are saying. That is all. That is the only difference. Otherwise the meaning, the fundamental meaning of the of the sentence does not change at all. These are the four seasons you can see. This is Aki, Fuyu, Haru and Natsu. We will do the kanjis a little later. Now there is Toki also over here. Toki means time as you already know and Goro is approximate time. So with Goro Either use goro with time or use ni with time. Both are not used and toki ni is optional. I will show you later in the lesson you will know. It only emphasizes that is all. The basic meaning does not change. Now you can see over here. Rainen no natsu kazoku to isho ni amerika ni ikitai desu. Or rainen no natsu ni kazoku to isho ni amerika ni ikitai desu. It is optional over here, you may or may not use it. In a similar manner, Gakko ni ita toki ni yoku sports o shimashita. So when I was in school, I did a lot of sports. I played a lot of games. So when you put ni over here, it emphasizes that at the time when I was in school, 
I was playing games. That's about all. Without me also the sentence is complete. Then, watashi wa ototoi haha ni denwa o shimashita. We just did this over here in the previous slide. This ni over here is to, which I am going to take up later. Watashi wa ototoi ni again no. Ototoi haha ni denwa o shimashita. I rang up my mother day before yesterday. Or denwa o shimashita is I talked to her. So, watashi wa I talked to my mother day before yesterday. So, you can see that over here as I explained earlier, this is the primary object and this is the indirect object of the action. Now, we will do how to give and how to receive things in Japanese. The verbs are different for both the cases and uh, they are agemas and muraimas. And the reason why I am doing this over here is because we are going to use particle ni again. So, how to use particle ni and what does it mean? Now, simple sentence, watashi wa agemas. I give. So, I and give or I gave. Agemashita. Now, watashi wa hon o agemas. I give something. So, what do I give? Hon. So, watashi wa hon o agemashita. Till now, I am not telling to whom. I am just saying that I gave a book or I am going to give a book. Now, watashi wa okasan ni hon or shosetsu a novel o agemas or agemashita. Over here, this ni is equivalent to the English to. So, watashi wa okasan ni I gave a shosetsu or a hon to, which is me, okasan, to my mother. So, it is watashi wa okasan ni hon o agemashita, this ni over here, after the indirect object is equivalent to the English to. So, I watashi wa someone ni something o something is a noun obviously noun o verb age must now watashi wa muraimas so i am the one who is receiving muraimas is to receive or to get so, watashi wa muraimas or watashi wa muraimashita. I received something, I got something. Now, watashi wa hon o muraimashita as we did for agemas. I received something and what is the something? It is a book. Then, watashi wa okasan ni hon o muraimashita. I received a book from my mother. So, this is equivalent to from in English. I watashi wa someone ni which is equal to from something o something is noun again o verb and the verb is morau. So watashi wa someone ni something o moraimas. This is direct relationship. And this is the indirect object of the sentence. Now, you can also make it very simple in your mind. Instead of particle ni, you can use kara, which we have done, which is equivalent to from. Watashi wa koko kara soko made. From here till there. Or hachiji kara fuji made. So, this you have done. This means from and you can use kara over here instead of ni. And remember that with muraimas, watashi wa okasan kara shosetsu o muraimashita. That's the meaning. With the verb ageru, it means to, I give, and with the verb morau, it means from I 
the sea. Now, watashi, I give. Age mas. And it's about me. Watashi wa receive, get, morai mas. I give and I receive. It's all about me. In age mas and morai mas. Also over here, you can say in place of watashi, imoto, chichi, and haha, wa agemasu. They give something. Chichi wa agemasu, haha wa agemasu, imoto wa agemasu. Okay, something. And again, imoto wa moraimasu, chichi wa moraimasu. And haha wa moraimasu. So you will notice that again they are giving and they are receiving. Who is giving, who is receiving is not the issue over here. The issue is either I am giving or I can be replaced with this and imoto or chichi or haha are giving or receiving. It can be sensei also or tanaka san, anyone receiving and giving. So now you can look at this and see it's very clear. Watashi wa agemasu. B san ni agemasu. Watashi wa B san kara moraimasu. Ni agemasu and kara moraimasu. Now if someone else wants to give something, as I told you just now in the previous slide, so if chichi, haha, or someone else wants to give something to somebody. For example, I want to give to Chichi, I want to give to Haha, I want to give to Tomodachi. It's absolutely correct, Agemas will be used. If now Imoto wants to give to Chichi, Chichi wants to give to Haha or Tomodachi wants to give to another Tomodachi or Tanaka-san, then also same Agemas will be used. Or if Chichi wants to give something to Imoto or Imoto gets something from Chichi, Haha gets something from Chichi or Tomodachi, Tanaka-san gets from Tomodachi, then it will be Morau. We are doing the same thing again and again so that Agemas and Moraimas with particle ni is very clear to you. Now, if you want to give to somebody who is senior to you, somebody who is older in rank and age to you, then instead of agemas for politeness and for respect, what are you going to say? Well, it is sashi agemas. So to seniors, you will always say watashi wa sensei ni sashi agemas. Watashi wa bucho ni sashi agemas. Now, if someone who is senior to you gives to you, then you receive something from your seniors. Then what will you say? Watashi wa sensei ni or sensei kara something o itadaki mas. So murai mas is only for people who are your age. Itadaki mas. Now imoto wa Bucho kara hon o itadaki mashita. Or watashi wa sensei kara jusho o itadaki mashita. This moraimas over here is a mistake. When you are receiving something from people senior to you, it is always itadaki mas. Now I will write it down clearly. A gives ageru. A receives morau. B, who is senior to you, A gives sashi ageru and A receives from someone who is senior in age and rank, ita daki mas. Ita daki mas. Please remember this. Now, we have done so much of ni. There is still more ni left. Ni performs a lot of functions in the language. We are going to do another one over here today. How knee shows 
purpose for going to in a certain direction. Now let us see what it is. Patashiva gohano tabemas. You understand noun o verb. Now, watashiwa gohan o tabe ni shokudo e ikimas. So, for the purpose of eating, I am going to the shokudo. So, it is very clear from tabe ni. Tabe mas. Remove the mas and put ni over here. Ikimas is motion in a direction. When particle ni is added to this verb, then it shows purpose or movement in a certain direction with a purpose to do a certain activity, which is clear in your mind. So, why am I going to the shokudo? I am going to have gohan. So, for the purpose of eating, I am going to the shokudo. Person wa for activity place a iku. Generally, in this case, the verb is iku. Now, you can use it with other verbs also, like you have ai ni over here. Ai mas. So, remove the mas, put ni or benkyo. Shimas. Benkyo shi ni gakko e ikimas. Sensei ni ai ni gakko e ikimas. You will notice that the verb is always iku or kuru or kaeru. Now, why is that so? Let us see. But before that, let us do a few verbs like tabemas, nimas. Yomimas group 1, Aimas group 1, this is group 2. So, we just need to remove the mas and put ni in place and it becomes for the purpose of this activity. For example, gohano tabe ni shokudo e ikimas. Ega o mi ni tomodachi no uchi e ikimas. Or sensei ni ai ni gakko e ikimas. Or gakko ni ikimas. Both can be used over here because the purpose is very, very clear. Now you have shown purpose with the help of particle ni. Now why we use only motion verbs over here? Because it shows movement or motion in a certain direction and with a purpose. So what are the motion verbs? You have studied three basic motion verbs and that are ikukuru and kairu and uh, hairu and deru are also motion verbs. Hashiru which is to run, aruku which is to walk and oyogu which is to swim also show movement in a certain direction. But why are they not in this motion verb category? Because the motion which is done or the movement which is done is of a very specific type. When you walk, you walk in a certain manner. So it is not just motion. It is a motion of a certain type. So what is important is that in verb ni construction, the verb will always be ikukuru or kairu because it shows movement towards a certain goal. So now how will we say that I am learning Japanese to be able to speak to Japanese people or to be able to know about uh, Japanese culture. Let us see what is the pattern and what form we have to use. So this is what we did just now. Watashi wa nihongo o benkyo shini nihon e ikimas. Whatever sentence you make, whenever this pattern will come, verb plus ni showing purpose, then the verb is always going to be ikukuru or kairu, which are motion verbs. Now, if we want to say that I am learning Japanese to be able to speak in Japanese, so there is no motion in any direction, so we cannot use this. Now, what are we going to use over here? Watashi wa nihongo o hanasu tameni. 
for the purpose of talking. Nihongo o benkyo shite imas or shitai desu or shimas. Now one thing you will notice over here is that this verb is in plain form. Hanasu tameni for the purpose of talking. Watashi wa nihongo o hanasu tameni nihongo o benkyo shimas can also be used. Shitai can also be used. Shite imas is continuous tense which means I am studying. Shitai is I want and shimas is I will do. The important thing is before tameni always verb is going to be in plain form. Now there is another example for you. Watashi wa nihonjin to hanasu tameni. I want to talk to Japanese people, thus I am doing Japanese for this purpose. So, watashi wa nihonjin to hanasu, again you will see plain form. Hanasu tameni nihongo o benkyo shite imasu or benkyo shimasu. Tameni is for the purpose of this verb. Now, watashi wa nihon no bunka o narau tameni for learning Japanese culture. Nihongo o benkyo shite ikimasu. I am learning Japanese. So over here you will see in these three examples, ikimasu is not given. So you are doing a certain activity for this. The important part is that verb is in plain form. Now, otosan wa kazoku no tameni hatarakimasu. Till now we were doing verbs. See, over here it is all verbs. Now it is nouns. So what is the difference over here? No is added. Kazoku no tameni. For kazoku. We can replace kazoku with watashi. Watashi no tameni hatarakimasu. Or uchi no tameni hatarakimasu. So you will notice that with noun it changes a little this little no is added over here with verb the verb is in plain form and if we are using it in this form then only ikimas kimas or kaerimas will be used which are motion verbs so very very quickly tabe ni ikimas narau tame ni benkyo shimas or shite imas then kazoku no tameni hatarakimas this is verb this is verb and this is noun so you can see the difference very clearly over here tabeni and narau tameni and kazoku no tameni. Now, I quickly want to do some kanjis also with you, which we have covered so far. I cannot do all, of course, but yes, some of the easy kanjis. So, here we did iku and kuru. So, iku and kuru, you come to this crossroad and you don't know where to go. So, one, two, three, four, and you make this umbrella like this iku then we have kuru so this is ju you can see very clearly then if we just do this it means white rice kome kome and if we have to write kuru one two three four five six and seven this means kuru where is the idea coming from well, in jugatsu, ju is this over here, jugatsu, there is rice harvesting. So, rice turns red and uh, it's all ready to be harvested. So, that's why you can see rice over here. This is the character for rice and on top you have ju. So, like this, kuru is given over here you can see then we have 
ima you have done ima kyo these are some words with ima kyo you know the words now you do the kanji kotoshi over here kotoshi which is year nen is the other reading for toshi for this character then we have kongetsu that is like this imano month kongetsu this is how you would write there are more words now asa you know time expression asa like this with asa there are some words kesa that is today morning so today morning kesa then you have asa gohan asa is asa is such and then you have gohan remember doing the honorific go before this character now this has become almost a, a word and go is not honorific anymore in this it is just gohan nobody says han otabemas it is always with gohan then asa nebo so over sleep asa is in the morning and nebo is to over sleep so concentrate only on this part which is this character because it's coming from here asa now agemas is another one that we did just now ageru to give and this is also the kanji for ue up then you can see we did haru and haru is very simple three people looking at the sun after a cold winter so that's the pictogram and 1 2 3 over here here and then nichi this is haru then we have natsu natsu is again like this you do me and then this one over here meaning it's so hot that this person is sitting under the roof sweating totally exhausted that's the pictogram then aki again all the grain becomes red or brown at the time of harvest which is in autumn for rice and it's very simple like this aki fuyu which is like this a person walking on thin ice so that's the pictogram there could be other pictograms as well these are the pictograms i had and also look up the net in the dictionary you can see the stroke order is given very very clearly online dictionary so with this i would like to finish today's lesson and uh, we have covered a lot of things here today we did prepositions we did particle ni we did agemas and moraimas with particle ni agemas is to give as you know and moraimas is to receive so giving and receiving in japanese with particle ni and then we just now covered some uh, kanji is very very quickly all kanji you don't have to memorize uh, you can just keep the pictogram in mind and uh, concentrate on those characters so i'll be giving you a lot of kanji but you can pick and choose whichever ones you want and learn and you find interesting so with this i would like to end our class today and uh, see you again in our next class thank you very much